a youth football coach was arrested for slugging the referee. And what's interesting in this story is that last Saturday, this youth football coach, he has, uh, his name is Dion Robinson. He's 43 years old and he has a rap sheet that dates back 25 years. He's been arrested 20 times. We actually have a video of the assault. Let's check it out. Oh, he's coming after him. Get the kids off the field. Oh my God, Damon. Get the kids, get the kids. Wow. Uh, is it weird that my first reaction is pull your pants up? <laughs> you know, first of all, how dumb is it, right? I this mean, is a coach. And you're setting an example for the kids. Like, if you disagree with the ref, punch him in the face. Exactly. Right? Plus, uh, <laughs> how are they going to play football with their shorts hanging down at their knees? Okay. So like, he's a poor example all around. Right. I, I know I'm over obsessing, but I never understood the appeal of the shorts at the knees. Like, it is so hard to walk around. You know how long it took to catch up to that ref to punch him in the face? Okay, because he's pulling up his shorts the whole time, right? Exactly, he could have gotten to the ref like three seconds faster. Right, now his head coach, they didn't know that he had it on tape in the beginning. The other side's coach taped it, right? The, one of the spectators taped it. Oh, okay, and mm -hmm. so, and, and so they got tape on it, but they don't know, and they go up to the head coach, and the head coach is like, oh, I don't know who that guy is. So Horrible. he's, now, now look, he's covered for his friend, but you might not want to have a guy who's an assistant coach who's A, punching the refs, and B, what was it, did you say 33 pages of a he, rap sheet? Yes, I'm actually gonna describe to you some of his felony convictions. We have, including robbery, cocaine distribution, he's also been um, arrested for aggravated battery, resisting arrest, battery on a law enforcement officer, indecent exposure, aggravated assault. That was assault. the shorts thing, probably. Yeah. <laughs> How do you hire someone like this? And I think where is the, where do parents, do parents trust the fact that when their kids go to school or when their, when their kids are gonna go play football or basketball or an intramural sport, that the person that's educating or, or instructing their children aren't coming with a 25 year rap sheet. So do you fire the head coach too? I think you hire the, well, for one, does the head coach know that he had a 25 year rap sheet? I mean, he should have known, so yeah, you should fire him because he should have known. He should have done the homework. These are children. You're entrusting these gentlemen to protect your children. Yeah, I would, I, I talked to the guy, if he had any inkling that, uh, that this guy had a rap sheet like this, you definitely fire him. If he didn't, it's a little tougher call, but given that he punched the guy mm -hmm. and did it again when apparently he does it over and over again, right. and you made the call, you're ultimately responsible for hiring him, you know, I, I think there's responsibility on the head coach too. And when you come with it, with it, with it, that many felony convictions, obviously this cannot be one of the first incidents. I mean, you see the person's character the more you interact with them. So I'm sure the head coach has had many incidents with this assistant coach where he's had to have looked at this person's character and thought, hmm, maybe he's not the best choice to be teaching these children. And what happened to three strikes? This dude's got like 28 <laughs> strikes. <know. laughs> and he's still an assistant football coach. Yeah. Okay, and by the way, I got to see the video again. Yeah. Because I want to see him trying to catch the ref here with the shorts. Oh, he's coming after him. Get the kids off the field. There he is. There he is. He's, 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 he, oh he's trying to hold up the shorts, right? He is. Hey. And, and he's That's scared because he's going to hold up the shorts. You almost have to give him props. He had it down pat. He was skipping. He was holding it up. He knew what he was doing. And he, and he had to time it right. If you noticed, he's holding it up, holding it up, and then he uses it to punch and then holds the shorts back. It was a gallop. He had <laughs> momentum. Right. He's done this before. He has. <laughs> Obviously. All right. Anyway, that dude should serve some serious jail time. Yeah. And where he might lose his shorts in a different one.